Hey, internet. It's been a bit. First video in a little while. Honestly, I just really wanted to take Christmas to New Year's off, and now it's, you know, the 13th of January, and I've just been catching up on that for a little while. But it was the first time ever, like, professionally working, and I've been working for five years, that I've taken that much time off and, like, not gone anywhere, so that was really nice. Um, but I'm back with hopefully a really quick overview video of my new pocket ring setup. It was very cute being in the other pocket rings and I actually have that right here to showcase kind of like a compare and contrast of what I did this time to that time because functionally it's the same but it's very different layout wise. Um, this was cute, this was fun, but like functionally being a purse planner it just did not work at all because it was very, if I can get this damn clip off. Um, I also lost my palm. There was a little peach palm on here missing it's gone but that's part of it like this was a purse planner throw it in a bag do whatever with it and you know there are some issues with having like this level of decoration in a planner like that so um as cute as this is I realized it wasn't really working out for me so basically what happened and I feel like this is probably due to the whole like breakup kind of like rediscovering myself and kind of like doing a, a lot of different things with my life. Um, end of December, beginning of January, I kind of like hated every planner setup I had and decided that I needed to either do a full new layout or like just get a new planner entirely. This is, I don't, I don't really know what the deal with that was, but I was just unhappy with like everything I was dealing with. Um, so I decided to try out the Amazon planner that everyone was talking about. I'll link it below. What the selection tends to vary. I've seen a lot of different colors come in and out. There's a really popular milled pink color that's kind of similar to like the VDS Parm color that you and there's like some black colors that come in and out. There's different stuff, but this is the Moterm pocket ring planner. I ended up getting an ostrich and I've like never done that before. Personally to me, first of all, ostrich planners are balls expensive and I'm not out here trying to pay that money. But this planner was $40. Um so I did that. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it because I'm not sure if it's too like, you know how people have phobias of like lotuses and stuff? I wasn't sure if it was gonna be like that, but I actually do enjoy this planner a lot. It's a really pretty like salmon color. And like I said, it's a pocket rings. It, um, I don't know if you can see, but it's the kind of rings that screw in. So they're not the highest quality rings, but $40. They do say that this is genuine leather. I'm not here to confirm or deny that, but whatever. <laughs> um, I, I like it. I think, you know, for what I paid for it, it's definitely high, high quality. Um, it did come with a pen loop and I did cut that off because pen loops piss me off, but that's neither here nor there. So it is styled very similarly to a VDS or a Giglio, more towards the Giglio side just because of the square corners, but you know, you can get that on a VDS as well. It's got that clasp. It's got a back pocket like so. It's got a flap over here. We're not gonna focus, are we, bud? <laughs> it's got a flap over here. It's got some card slots, which I have yet to do anything with, but I think I'm gonna probably put like a post-it note in here if I can. And then on the front, you've got the same thing. You've got a little flap over here and a zipper pouch over here. So if you wanted to use it as a wallet, you could really do like change in here, cards back there and cash in the flap or anything like that. Um, but I'm not using it as a wallet. Wallet pocket rings just don't work functionally for me. I like to have a wallet and I like to have a planner. Um, like I said, this is my purse planner. This is what comes with me when I'm out. So I just need a few simple things in it. Now compared to this one, I did almost no deco. I've got dividers and I've got a few vinyls. I might be throwing in like a die cut here and there, but like that's it for me. This is, I'm happy with how this looks. The only thing I want to add is different tabs up here, like clip in bookmarks similar to this that say like what the section is because I think that would be really, really useful to bring me to the page that I need to be on. Um, and I had ordered some material on Amazon to try to do that myself if I can, and that's coming here today. So hopefully I can get that done. If not, I'll have to like buy it, which sucks. I don't like buying things personally if I can make it myself, but whatever. So anyway, here we've just got a piece of like acetate that I cut and I put this Yeehaw vinyl on. If you are not following me 
on many of my social media platforms. Um, I have given up <laughs> on having an official word of the year be flourish. Yeehaw has just taken over. I originally said that yeehaw was my like secondary unofficial word of the year, but honestly, like I am just embodying this so much that I, I can't pretend that it's flourish anymore. That's just, it is what it is. So then the dividers, naturally, I made, because I just went on that whole tangent about how I like to make things if I can. What I did was I just bought some digital papers on Creative Market. You can do this with scrapbook paper too, but I am so like fickle that I don't like the fact that scrapbook paper is generally only one-sided. I know you can buy double-sided books, but whatever. So I bought the digital paper, I just printed it out, double-sided it so that there was a pattern on each side. The back side is actually all just one pattern because I was too lazy to get like super fancy with it, but the each tab itself is a different pattern. Um, and then I cut that out with my silhouette, laminated it, and then cut out the divider from there. If anyone's interested in seeing a tutorial on this, like, feel free to go ahead, comment that down below, and I can do it. It's like super easy, and honestly, if you have the tools, and I know a lot of you planners have the tools, I know some of them are still in the boxes and you've never used them before, it's a great way to get, first, a level of personalization that, you know, you can't really get out of shops that offer it, not saying to not support shops like wholeheartedly i love supporting other shops but for me i am so particular here's my thing i wanted five dividers i did not want six dividers i did not want four dividers i did not want seven dividers i wanted five dividers and i wanted them to go from the top to the bottom. So buying a six or seven pack and only using them like from here to here not an option for me i'm too type a for that it is what it is so we threw that down we made it work exactly how we wanted it to work. We also matched the color themes exactly the way that I wanted it to. Um, so that's my little side tangent on how to do that. You can also do it with vinyl if you want. I've done that before. It's, you know, if you have access to a cutter and a laminator, that's all you need. Next up, every other insert in the planner is mine, but I did want to do a year at a glance and I was definitely too lazy to make it myself. I hate doing dated inserts. Like I can make my own inserts for days, but the second you want to throw dates in there, I just do not have the time. So I did buy this one from Jesenia Printables and it really is just an overview. Quick, quick. It's for me, what I like to do is look at certain dates and see like what the weekends are. If there's any holidays, I'll probably go in and color code that, but I haven't done that yet. And then I'll probably go in and block off days that I have commitments for. Like I have a lot of weddings. We're doing like a week away somewhere this year. There's just stuff. So that's going to happen. And then from there on, every other insert obviously is mine because I've matched it to the damn planner because this is what I'm saying. I'm so like type A that I can't just leave it. So I have a yearly overview. Once again, it's not really filled out yet because I just did it this weekend, but that is one of the tasks for this week is to go and combine all my little calendars that I have going and make sure everything is written down in here because I do have a lot of obligations this year and I would like to make sure I don't forget about them. This is just a very simple, there's room for a date, there's room for what it is, there's room for notes down here if I want it to. And I kept the fonts all consistent through throughout the inserts as well because this is who I am as a person. Next up, I have this vinyl from Taylor and Tucker. It's just a K with like really floral. I don't understand how she can weed this because I can't, but it's really pretty and I, it's, it's a great matching piece to what I was doing. It's the perfect color compared to these two. So then I've got another divider and like I said, I wasn't committing to anything. So anything I'm gonna add to it is pretty much just gonna be on a piece of acetate another divider. Meal plans. This is where I grocery plan. I don't think I have anything in here because I haven't gone grocery shopping yet. I just printed out new inserts. So instead of transferring all this stuff over here, it's all new. It's just, it's on different paper than it was before. So that was easiest for me. So grocery list, meal plans. I've got rooms to write down what I'm planning for breakfast, lunch, and dinner over here. And then a grocery list section over here. Next up, I have a pantry inventory. Oh yeah, I actually do have another vinyl in here too, I forgot. This one is also from Taylor and Tucker. It's that same color vinyl as before, and it's just a really pretty floral globe that kind of goes with the K, and once again, she's crazy. <laughs> I could never. I hate vinyl so much. Um, so then I have a pantry inventory. This is new for me. I'm trying to be better about um, knowing what I have. I, I live with my parents, I've said before, and we have like a lot of like fridges and freezers and pantries and places that stuff can go. And um, it's not really the most organized. And I'm the only type A person in the house. So <laughs> with that being said, I've kind of had to learn how to like 
compromise on how things are organized. And I think the only way that I can keep that kind of organized for myself is to keep a running inventory of the stuff that I have. This is probably gonna go by monthly, so for each month I'll write down everything I have. I'm gonna do meats in the freezer by portions. That's why there's so much room for them. I do get a meat subscription box called Butcher Box. I'm trying it out right now. It's kind of expensive, but it's cheaper than if you were gonna buy all organic meats at the grocery store for me because I don't have access to like a Whole Foods or a Trader Joe's or anything like that. So I do have a lot of stuff in the freezer and then I have a lot of dry goods and pantry. Pantry being like a closet and dry goods being another cabinet we have. They're, they both hold dry goods, but you know. So anyway, like I said, inserts are like custom to me because this is who I am as a person, but that's what I'm gonna use to keep track of that. That goes along with the grocery list because it lets me know what I already do have if I'm at the store and I don't end up buying 14 cans of kidney beans because this is what happens to me. Next up, I have a brain dump section. If you've seen any of my other planner flips, you'll know that I tend to just have this section in all planners. I like to be able to jot down notes at anywhere, anytime, anywhere I want to. So this is just a simple grid. I think it's five millimeter grid on that one. I tried four and it was just too small. So then last up, I have the inbox insert, which is kind of a new thing in my pocket rings. I've had an inbox before, but it's been just kind of like a random notebook sitting around and I decided a pocket rings is a better place to kind of keep that intact. Um, the inbox is something from the getting things done method. I have not read the book, so if I'm getting this shit wrong, like that's why. But basically it's just like an, a list, a running list that you can scribble stuff out, brain dump, at any little task you need to do, and then you can just rip it out and throw it out when you're done pretty much. So I've got three columns set up over here. For example, um, for the check mark column, it's just stuff that might take like less than 10 minutes. You don't need to go delegating it to another planner. It's easy, easy to do. Um, out of these, for example, sunglasses in the car. If I got a car, by the way, that's super fun. If I weren't outside right now and put my sunglasses in my car, like I've been trying to do for three days, I would go and just put that checkbox there and be done with it. The X is for things I've decided not to do, and the little arrow is for things that I have delegated into another planner. Um, for example, getting kits done would go into my shop planner, and that would be more of like a detailed summary of like what I was going to do for kits because I got ideas. So... <laughs> And then I just have a Foxy Fix page lifter because I just transferred it from my other pocket rings. This didn't come with a page lifter of any kind or a bookmark actually. So that's uh, that's the whole planner. Super, super simple. But honestly, I really, you know, I'm jealous of people who can have these cute ass decorated little pocket rings, but I just, it's too much for me. It's too much of a distraction. There's too much stuff going on. It's too difficult for me to find what I'm looking for. So I'm digging this little planner. I'm really, really pleased with the purchase and I'm really, really pleased with the price point. So once again, if you're interested, I'll put the Amazon link below. It's not like an affiliate link or anything. It's just, you know, for if you wanna be lazy and not have to search for it. Oh, I do have a question for you guys. So I have a few videos that are edited and ready to go that I will be uploading. Um, and those are kind of old, but they're gonna go up because I I took the energy to record them, quite frankly, and you guys can just ignore them if you don't wanna watch them. But I do also have a fair amount of memory keeping to catch up on from like Christmas to New Year's. I was wondering if you guys were interested in still seeing videos about that, or if you don't care if I just go and do that without recording them. Because as far as my brain is concerned, Christmas was like four months ago. And I'm not sure if people care, but if you do, I will totally record that because the kits I have are super, super cute and you should be interested in them. If not, no biggie, I really don't care. <laughs> so anyway, that was the quick flip through. It was a little longer than I wanted it to be, but I tend to ramble sometimes. If anyone has any questions about the planner that I didn't cover, please feel free to leave a comment. If you like the video, subscribe or don't, I don't care. And other than that, social media links are in the description below if you wanna follow more of my stuff. I've got a Facebook group for my shop. I've got an Instagram where I ramble on Insta stories all day. It's casual, it's casual. And uh, yeah, that's it, later.